cloak is an anthropomorphic exoskeleton which mimics the human form. It provides extra support that enables a person to carry more weight than they normally could. Exoskeleton technologies are considered part of the robotics field. If you want to think about them as wearable robots, that's pretty accurate. They sense what the user wants to do, where the user wants to go, and mimics the motion. We like to call these mantonomous systems. The exoskeleton is primarily composed of titanium components, which are both lightweight and provide the strength needed to carry the load. A microprocessor takes in readings from the sensors that are throughout the structure and calculates where the user wants to move and then commands the actual hydraulic system to actuate the joints to provide the motion. You can walk, you can run, you can bend, you can crawl, you can leap. It does not impede your range of motion whatsoever. This technology could be a real benefit to the military. Just imagine you're a soldier operating at 6,000 feet in the Afghan mountains and being asked to take 120 pounds up in that level of thin air. How exhausted you would be once you got there. An exoskeleton provides the ability to carry that weight the same distance but to have energy left to execute the mission once you're there. We've also looked at attachments that allow users to carry weight not only on their back, but also on the front. The exoskeleton will fit anybody between 5'4 and 6'2. The current system weighs 53 pounds, but it's pretty much unnoticeable to the user because what the technology does is it even transfers its own weight to the ground, in addition to the weight you're carrying. And we're taking the load off the soldier's back and we're going to help prevent injuries that occur from carrying heavy loads and repetitive lifting tasks. The best part about working on this technology is that it gives us a glimpse into the art of the possible.